All right, folks, so dress time. <laughs> um, what I really like is uh, action economy manipulation, and I really like the idea of how a rebel list can go out there and just wreak havoc on a, an opponent's list with just causing so much stress. But I'm not really a rebel player. I like my imperial ships. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a list that will work at adding stress to everybody or causing as much damage as possible through criticals. So here's the list I'm considering and I want your guys help in making even better. So what we have is a decimator and a fire spray. The decimator has Commander Ken Kirk on it and his ability that um, if you have no uh, shields and at least one damage card, you uh, can increase your agility skill, uh, sorry, your agility value by one. So I can start rolling defense dice against things. So it becomes a little bit tankier as I'm starting to take uh, damage. So not too sure. Maybe this guy is the way to go. Uh, I'm going to have to play around with it. I just like the idea of having a pilot skill of six or greater. Four is okay, but six just feels that much more awesome. Uh, I could potentially drop him down to the captain and toss on maybe a, oh, I don't know, anti-pursuit laser. So uh, I run into a guy, I cause damage, and if they run into me, there's a potential for causing damage. So that's also another thought. So not 100% sure, but I uh, being at pilot skill 4, just kind of, not 100% sure. But I do like it, though. I do like this idea. So regardless of what captain I go with, um it has predator so i'm re-rolling dice so i'm focusing up i'm using predator to re-roll dice and trying to get as much damage onto a ship as possible when i'm within range one which could complement uh the captain and the anti-pursuit lasers is with mara jade if they don't have a stress token at the end of the combat phase any sh enemy ships within range one gets a stress token so that's kind of cool now the Rebel Captive kind of complements it too. So when an enemy ship is shooting at me once per round, the very first ship that declares me as a target, uh, they immediately receive the stress token. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that I think this ship will deal out some stress and cause a few headaches here and there. Uh, now to further complement it, because these things don't necessarily jive 100% together, because you know. If, if they already have a stress, then this thing doesn't mean anything. But if I hit something, uh, they can't shoot at me, right? So they get a stress automatically from Mara Jade. And then another ship's going to be shooting at me, potentially. They're going to get a stress. And then anything else that's around is going to get stressed because of Mara. So that could work. Uh, now, when it comes to the fire spray, I really like the synergy kind of built up within this build here. So with Cath Scarlet, their pilot skill 7, which is really nice. I really like that. Not exactly an 8 or a 9, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I put Predator on this as well to continue to generate some more dice rolls and try and get those hits. And really, really, I really want those criticals. So um, when we're talking about Cat Scarlet's ability, when you're uh, attacking, if the defender receives one stress token, if they cancel at least one um, cri uh, critical uh, hit. So... I'm thinking that's going to start generating stress. Having the Mangler Cannon on there with Predator and focusing up, that's going to be shooting. That's going to be causing some uh, criticals. And if they roll out of it, that's going to be causing some stress. So that's really nice. And then the Tactician. If I can start stressing these ships out, I can get a better idea of what types of maneuvers are going to be going to. Uh, to and I can start to plan out where I want to put my ship so I can stay within that range too and add even more criticals. So either they're going to be rushing into me and potentially hitting um, the captain here or getting in close and start getting stressed out or they're going to be staying back a little bit and start getting picked on from Kath and start building up stress that way. So this is my idea for a stress build for the Imperials. What do you guys think? How can we make this better? How can we just make this awesome? So, um, yeah, let me know. Toss your comments below, and we'll see what we can do about making this uh, list even better. So, with that said, thanks so much for watching. Share, like, subscribe, guys, if you like this kind of content, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.